Simon, uh, so your immediate reaction to consider a well earned point this evening? Yeah, we're, actually we're really positive in there because um, hard fought point, especially going down to 10 men against a really good team. Um, but, uh, you know, Exeter, one of the best teams in that at our level and to get four points from them this season is, is obviously a definitely a, a big positive. Um, we ground it out and actually I thought there were times in the game where I thought it's coming here, you know, we've, um, but then you've got to be ruthless when the chances arise or, you know, the ball arrives in a dangerous area, you've got to get on the end of it. But um, the energy was, was back, that's for sure. I think the respite has done us some good and the, the spirit in there is fantastic, you know, so they were really courageous, you know, in, in grinding it out that last 10-15 minutes. I obviously mentioned it was hard fought there and it certainly from certainly the second half looked at a very sort of controlled performance. Yeah, yeah, I think so. There, there was good composure, you know, when you're trying to, obviously you, your ambitions change when you get a, a man sent off um, and another, another defender out now, but um, at, at those times of stress you're looking for, are we giving too many free kicks away, what's the telltale sign of, of stress and, it, it, to be honest, we, we're nice and compact and still stayed competitive and um, with an edge, with, but without going over the edge. Um, you know, so I was, I was pleased it wasn't erratic in any way. We tried to keep the ball when we could, um, and against a good team, we were very, very competitive all over the park. Must be pleased defensively to keep a clean sheet against um, like I said, a team like Exeter, who you know have got one of the sort of best attacking threats and goal records in the league. Yeah, actually, you know, we looked at several of the stats and they're top of the table for a lot of the stats, you know, creativity and scoring goals. And you can see why, uh, but we defended well. We doubled up, even with 10 men, to deny them um, passes and, and, and crosses into dangerous areas. And um, the centre-halves were very, very competitive early against a really good front man in, in Bowman. But um, now I was pleased that, you know, the, the, we're about our identities, energy and, and spirit, and uh, we showed that in abundance tonight. And that said, obviously mentioning their attack and the clean sheet, you know, um, I think James Belshaw was certainly the quieter of the two keepers, wasn't he? Well, that, that's right. We still would like to test their keeper more. Um, but the, sometimes in these really good teams, you, if you get a good corner delivery and you get on the end of it, you have to really get it in the back of the net or certainly get it on target. And we, we failed to do that tonight. Um, but in terms of uh, uh, James Belshaw, he's still. You know, he's solid, put in this solid performance uh, with his kicking and also his handling and when to come out, you know, and because a lot of keepers would judge it wrong, so, you know, he just still deserves a lot of praise for that. Once well, you mentioned the sort of down to 10 men for the last 15 minutes or so, sort of two quick yellow cards for Warren. Um, mm. Any complaints? No. I'd rather him not have <laughs> got either yellow, to be honest, but uh, it's, it's disappointed just more so. Um, it would have been more so if we'd have lost the game, but uh, we're without an important player, you know, against uh, Salford on Friday. Um, but you know, no harsh words were really given in his, in his direction after it. He said, "Sorry, he knows he's an experienced guy, you know, so he'll be beating himself up about it. So he doesn't need to need to beat him with a stick either." But finally, obviously, there's been so much disruption recently with, with games off. Uh, abandonments and probably hit training and preparations how, how sort of enjoyable was it to be back out there and actually you know getting 90 minutes well we still had a bit of a frightening <laughs> didn't we with, with the with all the the rainfall and i think there was the the risk attached to booking it in so early after saturday was was the forecast wasn't very good at all but i thought the pitch played brilliantly and it was uh, yeah so so good to be back feels like a winter break and you know we renew vigor and enthusiasm and energy and in everyone involved so and it's a good point Fantastic. Thanks, Simon. Cheers. Thank you.